my channel. It's me, Brittany Bear Makeup here. For those of you guys who are new, then welcome. Today's video, I'm so excited because there is a challenge going on right now where people are transforming themselves into brat stalls. This is something that I wanted to do on my channel already. So when I saw this challenge, I was so excited to recreate one of the brat stalls looks for you guys today. So guys, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you guys can be a part of my bear family. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and as always guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep on watching as I show you guys how I transformed myself into a brat stall. You are now, now rocking with Britney, bitch. All right, Bear Fam, welcome back. So today's video, as you already know, is going to be the Brat Stall Challenge. I went ahead and looked online to find a Brat Stall that I wanted to do today, and I found a couple of them that I fell in love with, but there was something about this picture in particular that I thought was just so me, so feline-like, so I thought, I, I have to try this look. So let's go ahead and get started into this tutorial and see if we can recreate one of their looks. All right, Bear Fam, so let's get into the makeup. So as you can see, she has like a really sexy, dramatic, smoky type of, I don't know if it's a cut crease. I don't, I'm not really sure what it is that she has in this photo, but all I know is that it looks amazing. It looks like she has a black and pink eyeshadow look going on. So those are the colors we're gonna be working with today. I went ahead and pulled my Man Eater Tarte Palette. I thought this had the perfect set of like neutral shades as well as this kind of pink shade that I think she has on her lid. I'm actually gonna be taking the shade Saucy, which is a very light brown shade. And then for the brush, I'll be picking up a Morphe M200 brush. And I'm gonna lightly just use this into the crease of my eye going back and forth. And I'm gonna pull it upwards towards the end of this little stencil. By the way guys, I've been so sick. If you haven't seen my Instagram, I've been literally like, <laughs> not dying, but I have been really sick with bronchitis so I'm fighting that apart from that guys recently maybe two days ago my Instagram got hacked so I didn't have access to my Instagram, my emails, my cell phone even shut off and just stopped working out of nowhere. It was the weirdest thing. So I was freaking out. I was sick at home trying to find out what went wrong, what I could do to get back into everything. I had to wait to get a new cell phone before I could actually like try to get into my Instagram. But thank God I was able to and now I'm back on Instagram. So just a quick little, quick little story time guys. That was really stressful and that is why I kind of slacked off on my YouTube channel so I'm so sorry for that but I'm back and I'm ready to make more videos so today was a good day back at work ready to go so what I'm noticing is that she has a lot of space in between her eyebrow and the black shadow so I had to be very careful when creating that elongated look that I don't go up too high. I'm gonna be taking this brush right here. It's more of a precision brush. This is a Sigma E45 brush, and I'm gonna dip it into this black shade. So I'm gonna put my stencil back, and for this, I'm going to kind of carve out my crease. So I'm slightly just creating definition in the corner, very, very lightly. Before I go anywhere else with this eyeshadow, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into this little concealer brush. So I'm gonna use this to define the crease of my eye. So I'm going in and I'm creating more of a perfect, precise placement of the black eyeshadow. And I'm actually gonna trace the bottom part of the stencil, almost as if I was creating like a liner. So I'm just drawing a very straight line upwards towards the end of my brow. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to gonna connect the eyeshadow with that line going upward. So I'm just drawing very strong smokes and I'm taking this so slow guys because I'm telling you black is just a dangerous color and it's better to take your time and really focus on creating the right, the right dimension than going straight into it and just ruining the whole look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna darken up the corner of my eye like she has going in the photo. So I'm gonna drag this black eyeshadow into the corner and kind of fill in any missing spots or areas. So then taking a Morphe E23 brush, I'm gonna go in and kind of start blending out both that crease and that black shadow that I added into the corner and create more dimension and more smokiness. So I'm going back and forth between a clean Morphe brush as well as a brush that has product on it just to make sure that I don't make the product go up too high and really just take over the eyebrows because there should be space in between them both. So the next step is gonna to be to go into a concealer with a concealer brush right here. And I'm going to actually cut the crease a little bit like she has in the photo. So I'm going to begin by just carving out a very defined straight 
line into the eyeshadow. I said straight line, but first off, I'm sick. And second of all, you guys know what I mean. Just carve out the crease. So the next thing is I'm going to go into that eyeshadow palette. Once again, I'm going to grab the color Hypnotic and Purr. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto my eye onto the area where I applied the concealer. She has like a pink lid going on. Probably not my like favorite combo for an eye look. However, we're trying to mimic that. So we're just gonna go with it. So I'm just applying the product and kind of blending it into the black eyeshadow. Not too much, but enough to kind of give it more dimension. Guys, the next step is going to be eyeliner. So I'm gonna be grabbing my Lorac eyeliner pen. I love this pen, it is amazing, and it does a good job. So I'm going to actually line where I want the eyeshadow to be very like defined. And I'm going to bring the liner downward towards the end of my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna follow the natural lash line with a thin line. Just like that, nothing too crazy. So the next step is gonna be mascara. And today I am using my PYT, Pretty Young Thing Beauty Mascara. I've been using this recently and I'm really obsessed with how it makes my eyelashes look. So I'm just gonna apply a thin layer to the lashes. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now that I've applied the mascara is I'm gonna go off camera and finish off the other eye. When I come back, we're gonna do all of the face makeup. Then we're gonna finish off the eye looks and I'm so excited because I can already see this. This is happening guys. I'm turning myself into a brass doll. So I'll see you guys in a second. Now the next step that we are gonna do is we're gonna do our face makeup. And for today, I'm really excited because I'm trying out a new foundation. This is actually the Vanish Hourglass Foundation. And I'm so excited for this because I've heard a lot of great things about it. And I'm just looking for, you know, new foundations. I'm a creature of habit. I need to get out there and try new things. I'm gonna go ahead and begin stippling this into my face. So this color actually kind of seems like it's pretty good matching. Probably have to darken it up with bronzer, but for the most part, it's going on super nice. I'm just patting it into my skin. I honestly haven't worn makeup in so long because I've been sick, so my skin is so dry and flaky and crusty that if this foundation looks good on this dry skin, then it is a good foundation. So the next step is going to be concealer. And for today, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I've used this in a video before and I ended up losing it and I just found it the other day and I thought this is a great time for me to bring it out again. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto my hand first so that I can get a nice Nice grip on the product and then taking my damp beauty blender I'm gonna go in and I'm going to apply this under my eye to give me that really nice bright under eye highlight so you want to be really careful with the black eyeshadow because if you start mixing the eyeshadow in with your concealer you're gonna look like you have great under eyes and I've done that so many times in the past so just be really really careful on where you place the product so I'm gonna carry this down the bridge of my nose as well onto my chin so the corners of my mouth, I like to also highlight and then a little bit up on the top of my forehead. So then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to begin patting this product into my skin. So in this picture that I chose, she has black hair. So I'm actually gonna be adding black extensions to this look later so that I can get the full effect. I've been honestly kind of missing my black hair recently. I've been going back on like old photos and I don't know what it is. Like there's something about black hair that just makes me feel so like alive and myself. I don't know, I'm getting the itch to go darker, but I'm also getting the itch to go lighter. So I think I'm gonna stay with this hair color for a little, kind of see where it takes me in the summer, and then maybe I'll just like drastically change my hair color. Now I'm gonna be taking my setting powder, and you guys already know how I feel about the Huda powder. It is just such a great powder, and I really feel like it's finely milled, and everything about it just goes on so nice. So grabbing my damp beauty blender, I'm going to begin packing the product under my eye and then packing it on. And then I'm gonna carry this down the center bridge of my nose, a very straight line, on my chin, underneath where I would reverse contour, lower part of the forehead. So now that I've gone ahead and I've applied my setting powder, I'd like to then go in with my bronzer. So I'll be using my soft angled contour brush from Sigma and my Hoola bronzer. And I'm gonna use this to just kind of sculpt out my cheekbones and really define the rest of my face. If you guys struggle with contour and you need a really good video, I just launched one on my channel. It's called How to Highlight and Contour 101, I believe. Make sure you guys go check that one out because it shows you exactly where to place your contour and what you can do to really achieve the most snatched face. So I'll go ahead and link it up here so you guys can check it out. 
Alrighty guys, so now that I've contoured, I'm gonna go off camera to finish off my eyebrows and my nose contour. When I come back, we're gonna finish off this brass challenge transformation. I'm really excited where this is headed because I can definitely see it is on its way to being popping. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, Vera fam, so I went ahead and I finished off my nose contour and my eyebrows. So now we need to finish off our eyeshadow look. All right, so I'm gonna quickly put a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eye to make sure there's no fallout. So I noticed underneath her eyes, she's very like smoldery and smoked out. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my Man Eater palette and take the color kit or cat call, excuse me. And I'm gonna go underneath my eye and I'm going to trace the lower lash line with a thin line that we're gonna smoke out to really create that drama. So then taking another Morphe brush, I'm gonna go into that same eyeshadow and I'm gonna just smoke out that bottom lower lash line. Just like that, very simple, very easy. Two second step. The next step is gonna be eyelashes. So what I did is I went ahead and took my eyelashes. These are the Lash Bar LA and these are the ones untamed. I cut them in half so that I just had the more dramatic side of the lash, which is what I'm gonna apply onto my lash line. So taking a little bit of adhesive, I'm going to apply this onto the lashes. I'm going to stick these bad boys onto my lower lash line towards the end of my lashes. All right, Bear Fam, so quickly going back into my eyeliner pen, I'm just gonna draw a couple little lines going out just to kind of mimic lashes and give it more of that doll-like effect. Just like that. So the last thing I have to do on my face is to go into my Tarte. This blush belongs to Tartlet Booklet. And I'm gonna be grabbing a Sigma F25 brush and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this bad boy onto the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend it into the bronzer. Just like that, give me more of that Dolly Polly look. All right, Bear Fam, so it is now time to my favorite part, which is the Bratz Doll Lips, which I feel like they're the most iconic part of this look, which is going to tie it and wrap it all in together. This is actually my new stick from NYX, and I'm gonna go ahead and overline my lips and kind of make them all mute using this stick. So just like this, I'm kind of giving myself like a milk mustache and mapping out where exactly I want my lips to be and how I want them to look like. Then I'm gonna fill them in as well. Now, let me go ahead and refer back to the photo. So it looks as though she has like a really hot pink outline and then the inside is super matte and nude. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and attempt right now. So what I'm gonna be using is my NYX. This is a ombre lip duo and I'm going to outline my lips using this color. So once I went ahead and I outlined my lips, I'm actually going to begin kind of blending them in to the lighter primer. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop, and this is a nude stick. This is called Dream Date. And I'm gonna apply this to the center of my lips. All right, Bear Fam, so I went off camera out of my black hair extensions and kind of finished off the look, and I'm really impressed with how it turned out. I feel like this ended up being a little bit harder than I expected. I went into it thinking, oh my God, this is so easy, I'm gonna master it, but Bratz dolls are just so gorgeous that you really can never look like one because they're just way too poppin'. So I tried my best. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this look and my recreation of the photo I chose. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna give a huge post notification shout out to my girl, Sarah Davis, thank you so much for having your post notifications on. If you guys want to get a shout out, then make sure you turn on your post notifications and comment when done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and as always guys, hit that subscribe button and I will see all my bear family in the next video. Bye guys.